In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to use effects in GDevelop 5 and we are going to be using the Dark Knight effect on our main character, Mindy. So we are going to get to the three dots and go for edit effects. So right here, we are going to go for add an effect and then we are going to apply an effect type. So the effect that we are going to go for is Dark Knight. Now this is going to make the character go dark like it's injured or it's, it has been hit with a spell. So let's add up a name for the effect. We are going to be using this is dark, just something simple. And then we want to go for apply. So with this added, we have to add a few events to make sure that we can trigger it whenever we are in the game. We are going to get into events and then we are going to create a new event. So we are using two new events. And then the first event is to make sure that the effect does not get triggered at the beginning of the game. So we are going to go for add action and search for effects. We are going to go for if enable an object effect and then go for the character or the object. So here we are going to choose the effect name and then we are not going to enable it. We want it to be disabled in the beginning and then en enable it when something happens or we trigger a button or it collides with an object. So we are going to go for OK. So from here, you're just going to copy this and then paste right here. And then double click it to change it from disabled to enabled. So we are, we are now using the yes option. Oh. And then we want to go for add condition. Now the condition is to press a key. So we are going to go for key press go for key pressed and then we are going to set that to Z and go for OK. So now we can use the Z key to enable the dark effect. Now let's add another effect. This time around, we are going to use a collision. We are going to go for add condition and then search collision. So right here in collision, we are going to go for our character or the object and then go for tree. So whenever mean equalize with the tree, it's going to create an effect. And that effect is to enable the dark knight. So now that we have this applied, we're just going to try this out. Okay. So right here, if I go for the Z key, you can see the effect is being applied. So here we can say, hey, our character just got injured or the, our character has gone dark. Now we are going to collide with the tree and see if that is going to happen as well. So if I collide with this tree, you can tell the same thing is happening whenever it collides with the tree. So this is how you can actually use effects within your game. It's very simple. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button and I'll see you in the next video. Keep creating game devs. Oh, 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 oh,